Okay, I want to welcome you guys to Northeast Coachman Park, Clearwater, Florida. This is C.R. Willie, Tampa Bay Disc Sports Club member 001, reigning course pro. This course originally was developed around 1992, uh, eventually finished in 1994. It was piecemealed together, getting the baskets from individual donations and sponsorships. Uh, this course used to be heavily wooded. It was a jungle course in Florida. Uh, it exists on a federal wetlands so that no buildings will ever be built on this property. This is a hidden gem of a course. Hole one is your starting hole, 370 foot, par three, fairly wide open bomber hole. This is the only wide open hole on the whole course. Uh, even though it's thinned out through the years considerably, uh, a lot of people are crushing the discs as the discs fly farther. The road and sidewalks do come at, into play. Hole two slithers through the trees. Par three, 283 foot shot. Uh, you always feel good getting a birdie on on this hole. Just such a beautiful course with mature oak trees throughout the course. You can have it made in the shade playing this course any time of the year. Hole three is a really simple 250 foot hole. There are some trees that you have to avoid. The car parking lot does come into play if you are aggressive and want to run the ace. Now we're getting off into the woods. Hole four is a little 220 foot hole. There are a couple different pin placements on this hole. And uh, good luck with this one. Sidearm is your best bet probably to get the birdie on this one. Years ago, the Boy Scout troops, they made the little walking bridges to the next tee for hole five, the short tee and the long tee. We really appreciated that. Hole five is a nice little 330 foot shot straight through the trees. Uh, it doesn't give up as many birdies as you would think it would. You have to be very strategic with your drive and avoid some of the maturing palm trees by the basket. Hole six has changed through the years. We've added a new pin placement, which makes it a little bit longer and more strategic as far as getting to the basket on the B placement. What we're seeing today is the B placement at 260, 285 feet, I think, for the B placement. The original placement is 260. Here's hole B, one of the added holes. Holes A, hole B. This is a very open shot. It doesn't favor a backhand or a sidearm. Just sitting right out there for the birdie. Hole seven runs along the creek bed. A couple different pin placements. Years ago, the creek used to jut out to the right. We used to have a pin placement. Uh, that was incredible. This one is a nice backhand righty hyzer, about 340 feet. The wind comes into play once you get to this stretch. As each of the next couple holes runs along the edge of the creek, you still want to avoid the creek, but you still want to try to get your birdies. Hole eight is a right-hand hard hyzer skip to get back to the basket. A lot of times you want to throw the skip shot to try to get the disc to release and finish to the pin. Brings back so many memories looking at this course of what it used to be, all the wildlife that we used to have back there. It used to be fox, 
you'd see fox, you'd see turtles out there. And Ken Climo, Nick Sartori, and myself went out there with two-by-fours and bandanas attached to the two-by-fours, and we walked through the woods yelling and flashing the two-by-fours with the handkerchiefs on them just to see if we could see each other for a 200-foot shot. Literally, you could barely see someone 200 feet away, even 15 feet away. It was that thick. Hole 9 runs along the creek bed once again. It's a relatively straight shot, but your best bet is to throw more of a hyzer shot to have it finish at the pin. One great thing about this course is you do have opportunities to go back and forth to your vehicle if you need more discs. Hole 10 juts back into the little canopy of trees. Starting to think it's more of a sidearm shot, but I still tend to throw a flippy disc backhand, righty flippy, and let it release back to the pin. It's more than 300 feet. Hole 11 takes us back by the parking lot, and so you're throwing away from the parking lot. And this one's very tough. Lots of trees to get in your way. There's a couple different pin placements on it. Doesn't give up an awful lot of birdies. If you hit early trees, you're in trouble to save par. Hole 12's 350 foot straight out along the creek bed. You really need to power a drive, something that's straight that will finish in the fairway. If it flips, you're going to be in the creek. Lucky number 13 has given up quite a few ace funds through the years. I know I cashed a $500 ace fund off of it one time. 256, straight at it, a little backhand shot. Parking lot comes into play if you throw sidearm off the tee. Really fun hole. The whole course is so fun. There's so many great fun shots on this course. Hole 14, Used to be called Sherwood Forest because you're surely going to hit a tree off of this 330-foot hole. Lots of trees. Sidewalk uh, is still in bounds. It's been played different ways through the years, but there's two pin placements. The shorter pin placement does give up a lot more birdies than the longer pin placement. Hole 15 has become very difficult to birdie for myself. It's only 300 feet. It's a relatively straight shot. There's a, a lot of trees that are guardian trees by the basket. So if you want to try to throw a skip shot down the sidewalk to get back to the pin, even a righty turnover shot, just seems like there's these trees are just guardians that doesn't allow the disc to release to get back to the pin. Sixteen is another fun hole. You can throw a big Anheuser turnover shot or a big sidearm shot skipper. I've even through the years thrown backhand rollers to get to this basket. Two different pin placements. One's tucked inside the palm trees. Hole 17 is a straight up little 220 foot straight at rocket shot. This one's given up more aces on the course probably than any other hole. Uh, once again, I've had another $500 ace fund on this hole myself. And uh, I remember many people have told me they've had their first ace on hole 17. 18 is a tricky straight 320. Now there's a little hyzer shot out to the right that a lot of more people are throwing the hyzer route to get back there. And once again, the parking lot, if you go strong and long, you will find out out of bounds. Thanks for viewing Northeast Coachman Park. I'm C.R. Willie. 
TBDSC001. Thanks for watching to the end. This is Hartley Ariel with Disc Golf Tours. Subscribe if you like the video. Check out our channel for some more content. Big thank you to CR for contributing some great history of these courses. See you in the next one.